Hi guys, it's Paul Kirtley here and this is an episode in one of my occasional series of quick tips. Now this is something that I use from time to time and I thought I'd share it with you because it's not immediately obvious. The situation is I've got my tarp pretty much set up but there's no upright where I want to tie this nearest corner off so I want to share with you a quick tip that will help with that. So there's nowhere here. This is the angle that I want to pull the tarp at. I don't want to tie it off down to a peg on the ground because it's too low. I want it up. It's nice weather, dappled sunlight coming through, light breeze. It's the middle of the summer. I want this up quite high, but there's a tree here and there's a tree here, but there's nothing in between. Yes, I could use a pole, but I'd have to go and cut something. I want to share another idea with you. All right. so. First issue normally here is unless you've got ridiculously long guy lines on your tarp, you're probably going to have to put an extension on to apply the technique I'm about to show you. And um, I've got quite thin cord on here and um, I'm just going to use a sheet bend, a double sheet bend in fact, to extend this. Um, those of you that are watching on YouTube, you can go to a link in the cards and that will take you straight to a video that will show you how to tie a double sheet bend. So I'm going to put a double sheet bend in here with a quick release so that I can untie it easily later on. I'll show you the finished product in a second. Most of us carry a spare bits of cord with us, lengths of paracord or just utility cord for various jobs around camp. And this is one of the jobs around camp that you might use it for. So there's the end result. Double sheet bend, tying the thinner cord onto the thicker cord, which is the 550 paracord. Okay, now the reason why I want to do this. Okay, just reset the camera angle and then I can show you exactly how this works. It's pretty nifty and it's one that gets me out of some scrapes sometimes so that I can get my tarp set up really nicely so that I don't get wet. <laughs> Okay, just so you've got the orientation, there's the tarp. Here's the trees that I want to use. This was a bit too far left. This was a bit too far right. And uh, we're going to set the angle in between using this nifty little trick. And I know you're thinking, get on with it. So I'm going to get on with it. So first of all, I'm going to go around one of these trees with the cord. Pull all that through. All right, so I've gone round this tree here. Go round to this upright over here, like so. Now this is completely the wrong angle. I want the cord over here somewhere. So I'm gonna just pull that back a little bit. Now this is why I needed the extension because you end up using quite a lot of cord for this. Now that's about where I want the angle. Get that out of the way there, pull that through. Okay, so that's the angle that I want there for my tarp. And now I can set that angle. And if I wanted it over here, I could set it over there. If I wanted it over there, I could set it over there. So this is a really nifty way of using two uprights that aren't quite in the right place to, to set the exact tarp angle that you want. And now I'm just gonna tie this off and we can use just something like a, a couple of half hitches or a, even a taut tarp hitch. I'll put the link to how to tie that in the, uh, in the cards as well. Just click on the link and there's a video that shows you how to tie it and that's now set at the angle that I want. I haven't quite got the tension right um, so I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. So pull that a little bit more that way, pull that a bit more that way, and then just haul that in. That's nice. And then I can just finish this off there and lock it off with another one. And there we have it. So I'll set the camera a bit further away. And you can see the overall thing, but you can see I've now got the tarp set 
to the angle that I want. There's the top. Whoop. Stick. Yeah, there's that birch. There's that sweet chestnut. There was no upright where I wanted it. So I've created a little simple knot system. To do that and you can see I've got that pulling that angle there round that tree so I went round that tree first across here to that tree there and then I brought the cord back and hooked it around the line that was going to that tree to haul it this way to where I wanted it and now I've just tied that off there with something that is, just let the camera focus. Come on camera. Maybe I have to manual there. You can see basically a taut tarp hitch and just pinching those together. Let me see if I can do it for you without getting in the way so you can see how I tie that off. Alrighty, so how do we tighten it off? Well, we're going to haul that in. That's the line going to the top. That's the line going to the tree. This is the end of the line, the extended end of the line. End of the line for you. <laughs> and then we're going to pinch that back line between the two trees in as well. And then I'm just going to tie that around here. We can go around a couple of times. That's fine. Yeah, not a problem. I'm going to pull a bite through that. And then I'm going to pull just another bite through that to lock it off. A bit like we do with a taut tarp hitch. And there we go. That's tied off. It's all pinched together. And the tarp, just in case you don't believe me, all nice and taut. So there you have another quick tip. All you need is a bit of extra cord. You've got those two uprights around the thing and you're done. No poles, no pegs, etc. The ground might be difficult, it might be rocky, you might not have access to decent poles, you might have to cut something green, which is a bit of a waste. It's just good to have extra tools in your toolkit. You want to be efficient with your camp setup, particularly if you're doing this as part of a journey. You've been traveling all day, you want to get into camp, get set up, get washed, get changed, eat, etc. etc. Whatever you're doing, you don't want to spend all night setting your tarp up. So having these tools means you're super efficient. If you'd like more tips and tricks like this in terms of using your kit, in terms of using natural materials, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Paul Kirtley and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care. Cheers.